Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the Black Swan inspired with a feather mask. And also, I just filmed a giveaway, so make sure you check that out as well. So the first thing I'm doing is moisturizing my face, and I'm also going to take this white eyeliner to draw out, I guess kind of map out the area that I'm going to place my feather mask. So this kind of just gives you an idea of where you need to do the foundation and everything. Next, I'm taking this white cream paint and I'm mixing that with my foundation and I'm using the L'Oreal True Match and I believe the color that I used is the lightest shade that they own. I wanted this to be a really, really pale look so that's also why I mixed it with the white paint so that I could become as pale as possible because this look you really want a very pale face for. So I'm just taking this e.l.f. brush and I am stippling it all over my face. Next thing I'm doing is I'm taking my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to blend everything in and I did not dampen it. It was really, really difficult to blend in so just Keep that in mind. You may want to try to dampen it. I'm not sure how that would work out, but it blended out pretty good in the end. So if you're just patient, just work with it and you'll get it how you want it. Don't worry. Also, I'm taking that same paint down my neck because I want it to really flow. I want my neck to be light. I don't want there to be like this white face, decently tan neck. I mean, it's not tan at all in reality, but you know, compared to the white, it looks pretty tan. To set everything, I'm using this elf translucent powder and an elf uh, powder brush I don't know exactly what it's called but just a brush to set everything so next what I'm gonna do is I'm taking this gel black eyeliner and I want to make sure that the eye sockets are nice and dark so that when you put the feathers around there's not any skin peeking through so I'm just taking that all around my eye kind of giving me a nice little black eye don't worry about making it look clean or anything. It's not really going to be that visible or obvious after you get the mask on. So just make it as dark as you can without worrying too much about how it looks. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually taking this red lip liner and using that as eyeliner. If you watch Black Swan in the movie, she actually has red eyes. And since I don't have any red contacts, this is the, really the best thing that I could do. So... Um, I'm just using this to line my lash line and then um, I'm taking it inside of my waterline to just make it look really nice and creepy. Here is the fun part and that's adding all the feathers and what I'm actually doing is I'm taking lash glue and individually placing each of the feathers just in the area that I think that they would look best. This takes forever, <laughs> not exaggerating at all. I believe it took me about 45 minutes to get all of these feathers on my eye. And one tip that I can give you is if you're gonna do this, make sure you buy small feathers. When I bought these feathers, I accidentally bought the large ones. So I spent like 20, 30 minutes just cutting down the feathers to fit and to look decent around my eyes. So make sure you get the small ones and also be sure that you do not get any of that lash glue on your eyebrows because when I took this makeup off, I'm pretty sure I ripped out a few eyebrow hairs. So yeah, make sure you do not get any of the lash glue in your eyes because that that is not fun. Next I'm taking these face paints that I got from Walmart and I believe they're the zombie pots or something along those lines. I'm just using the black in the uh, little palette thing. I don't know what you call it. I can't remember anything unless I'm looking at it. So anyway, I'm just taking this into my the hollows of my cheekbones and then I'm taking it down towards my chin because I want to really hollow out my face and make it look as thin as possible. And then I'm just taking it underneath my jawline to carve out them bones. Next I'm going to take my Morphe 35B palette and just taking the black and continuing the contour on my face. I just make sure that you blend it really well because this can look really crazy if you don't. But it's Halloween. I wanted to be dramatic so that's what I did. Next I'm just taking the color around my forehead and darkening that up so that everything pretty much flows together seamlessly. And taking it down my neck to try to give it that same contoured look and around the back of my neck to make it look slimmer and everything. Because I'm supposed to be a ballerina in this and, you know, mama doesn't look like a ballerina. Next, the black swan does have a mole, so I'm just giving myself a cute little mole. And lining my lips with a black eyeliner. It does not matter what kind of black eyeliner you use, just as long as it's black. 
and I wanted to fill it in a little bit, not much, um, just to make sure that it looked good with the red lipstick that I'm about to put on, so just do that. And the next thing I'm taking is this Bite Beauty lipstick, and I'm not sure of the name of it right now, but I'll list it down below. Anyways, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.